it is my incredible honor to introduce one of the greatest anointed sounds in the earth. I want you to give a great Omaha welcome as Phil Driscoll comes and releases the sounds of heaven. Amen. Come on, Phil. Hallelujah. against the very forces of darkness. Get it up. Be bold. Say, I am bold. Be strong. And be courageous. And have no fear. Do not compromise. For the weapons of your warfare are mighty unto God. Say it with me. I am I heard you sing about the roar of the lion of the tribe of Judah. 
Do you really realize what that really is? It's not just a song. It is a sound. But when you become born again, the sound on the inside of you is changed. And it's no longer the sound of a man or a woman or a boy or a girl. It's the sound of God on the inside of that man or that woman or that boy or that girl. Do you hear me? So the roar, I played several times in Africa. And they told me that the king of the jungle is unbeatable. That's the lion. He cannot be beat. But as the lion begins to be older and the young ones come up testing the waters of greatness, you know how they know if they can take the big one down? They will begin to roar. And they'll send the call to that big lion. He won't answer for a while. And he'll let them shoot their best shot. And all of a sudden, <laughs> you'll hear this roar that will shake the earth. I've heard it from about 10 feet from me. The ground shook. And the young lions, they will back away and say, not today, <laughs> not today, because the sound of the roar is the sound that permeates the jungle that tells all that hear that the unbeatable has sounded. And when you understand that one thing, it will change you. If you're in the middle of a big battle, understand that on the inside of you, the only way I can say it is this way. I am not a trumpet player. I am a trumpet. I do not, I don't play the trumpet. I am the trumpet. But the trumpet, just like you, can look nice, right? Could be hung in a museum, but it was not made to hang in a museum. And it was not made to be silent. And neither are you. And if you understand, let me finish, because I get excited about this. My wife freaks out when I start talking about this. This sound... This horn cannot make a sound on its own. It doesn't have a sound in it. It was only created to amplify the sound that is put on the inside of it. You are not a praiser, Hank. You are not a worshiper from God's position. You are praise and you are worship. And wherever that sound goes, it sends a signal to the jungles of this life. You cannot take me down because the sound that's in me is unbeatable. It's never been beaten. It's never been topped. That's the sound that's on the inside of you. Don't think you have to be some kind of a singer. You can make a joyful noise. But you know what? You're living right now in your world in the sound that you created in it. And God is calling us all to come up higher. If you're a worshiper, in any kind of music ministry, will you just lift up both hands? Lift them up high. Lift your hands up high. Father, in the name that's above every name, as a general in the areas of praise and worship, I call for heaven to bear witness this night 
that in this place is an innumerable company of worship sounds that will permeate this world, will cause darkness to stand back because we are the sound of heaven come to the earth. Say it with me. I am the sound of heaven come to the earth. My sound is not just me. It is God on the inside of me. And don't think, don't think that you have to just sing a song. Play, D minor. Remember this, praise is a system that God created long before the earth ever was. We'll say it one more time. God who foreknew everything because he's the alpha and he's the omega. He created a force field that could permeate the dominion of earth by mankind, his chosen creation, built in his image. So when praise is announced, there is a force of heaven that begins to descend upon the sound. It comes in the sound. It is transmitted by heavenly forces in the sound because God is the sound. And that sound is what defies darkness. It's what defies every weapon formed against the body of the Lord Jesus Christ. It means you cannot be beaten. You cannot be put down. You will not quit. Rod, you're stronger than ever. You're stronger than ever. I command your voice. I command it right now to be stronger than it was when you were 20, to be stronger than it was when you were 15, to be invincible because it's time for the generals of the army of the Lord Jesus Christ to arise and not be put in the background and not wait anymore. This is not the time to wait. This is the time to go. But I tell you this, there is a sound. It will make darkness flee. There is a sound. It's the sound of the redeemed. Yes, it is. There is a sound. Put this up a little bit. It is the sound of heaven. To hear the sound of oh, the redeemed, and the darkness bends its knee. and sickness has to flee. Is heard. Freedom comes right now. If you came in here sick, you're not going to be sick anymore. Whoa, lift your voice and sing. Just lift up your voice. Whoa, and make the sound of the redeemed. Let me hear you. Loranda la bande, shandala. Lord, I worship you. <laughs> there was a lady that was sick that heard that Jesus was a town. A 
she said, if I could touch the hem of his garment, I would be free. Keep playing, brother. It is not about singing a good song anymore. Good songs are wonderful. But it must be heard that the sounds of heaven come to the earth because Jesus prayed, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So we're seeing a transfer of wealth. We're seeing a transfer of position. We are seeing a transfer of government. We are seeing a transfer of heaven coming into the earth so that it can be like God intended it originally. So let the sounds be heard. Let the sounds be heard. Let the songs be heard. Let them all be heard. And listen, listen. Now create heavenly sound, brother. Go somewhere. Give me strings. Give me choirs. Give me whatever. Listen here. When a sound comes, you can see it on an oscilloscope, the sonic side of it. But you cannot see the spiritual side of it. Because it is intended by God to do exactly what David did when he played the harp for the king Saul. The evil spirit could not even stay because the sound annihilated darkness. The sound of light will always overwhelm darkness. So don't let your songs be full of darkness when you're in a battle. Put on the sounds of the redeemed. You are the sound of the redeemed. Say, I am. I am the sound of heaven. Come to my world. That means Satan has to bow his knee whenever he hears the sound. Because that sound is not an earthly made sound. It is a heavenly made sound. You have plugged in, as it were, to the frequency of God himself. Do you hear me? We're in a new day. We're in a new day. Come on. Quit looking at the past. Quit letting fear stop you and let your sound be full of faith in God. And your world has to change. And you know what? That's the sound that's going to bring the return. I'm going to say it one more time. That's the sound that's going to bring the return. Now, Hank, nobody told me how long I had, so I don't want to overstay my welcome. But I want to tell you this. It is long overdue that the praise and worship bands are the preliminary for something else. They are not, Rod. They are to propel you higher. You see, the prophet said, bring me a minstrel so that I may prophesy. Because sounds contain a specific atmosphere of heaven. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? If you are a player in the band of God in today's world, don't be hung up on songs you know and don't play background chords for the minister as he preaches. But begin to make sounds that will paint pictures of the word that's coming from the, the, the place where God has orchestrated the word to come from. Do you hear me? I'm just talking to you now. Stay with me. You must realize, you see, nobody, Jesus never told anybody, great is my faith. He never said, my faith healed you. No. No. He said, your faith healed you. So in the law of God must be a receiving factor. You can't, Hollywood's done a great injustice to the church by making things a performance-related entity. 
we are not here to perform for you. We are here to make a sound that God will inhabit. We are here to make a sound. It is a sound of the redeemed that causes darkness to flee. It's the sound of heaven come to the earth. That's it. And when you hear that sound, all you have to do, I believe, I believe, listen, all you have to do is just take it. Quit waiting on the doctor to heal you. I have nothing against doctors. Thank God for doctors. But Jesus is the great physician. If you have an incurable disease, I announce to you that healing comes to you now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Just open up your heart. Just open up your heart. I bless the ministry of Hank Kuhlman and all that God has put him into. I pray for angelic protection over his life and business affairs. I pray for heaven to launch an undercarriage of force around his ministry that is impermeable because these are the days of a war. But God has never backed away from a war. He loves the fight because he's undefeated. He's never been tied. He's never been bested in any area. So you can't be when he's in covenant with you. You cannot be when he's speaking through you. And when you sing, you got to get this. God is singing through you. I'm going to say it again. When you worship, listen to me. Don't wait on a band to lead you. You lead the band. You are the band. You are the singers. You are those that God has touched. You are the ones that he has chosen. So come on, 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 and receive it. making this happen. You realize that? It's dead when the devil kills the sound. It's dead. Don't let them put you in a box. And you're not a background. You are the main event from God's position. You take the place where Lucifer was. There's no, there is no evidence that Lucifer could even sing. What would you say, Hank? Oh. I came close to quitting because nobody got it. Just get it. Just get it. Get it. Because it's the sound that will bring the return. It's the sound that will bring victory in your life. It's the sound that will give you the strength to go on. It's the sound. Don't let the devil get in the middle of your sound and talk darkness and talk defeat and talk turmoil. You're not just built to go where you look, you're built to go where you sound. You're not. And depression. As the air is that you breathe supports human life, so is sound of spiritual forces. Spiritual forces require a sound in order to live. You require oxygen. When you go to 25,000, you don't breathe right. You go comatose. Spiritual forces must, that's depression, confusion, all fear-based entities have to have a sound in order to exist. So when depression comes to you and you say, I feel depressed, you just gave depression license to live in you. Don't ever say it. 
say what the word says because we are people who call those things that be not as though they were not as though they will be as though they were right now right now right now right now before I came up here I, I just I, pr I pray I'll, I'll be off in five minutes I have 621 so I have a minute and 19 seconds of grace I'm just going to do, I exalt thee, Jesus. Not anything else but that. Before I came up here, everything broke. Everything crashed. I have a very sophisticated, I pursue heavenly sounds. I couldn't do it tonight because my everything tried to stop me. But I don't care. I am the sound. I will not be stopped. You will not be stopped. Because greater is he that is in me that anything that's in the world does not matter does not matter the world has to have a new hit record every week or so God does it because his anointing never, ever lessens. And you know what? Lift up your hands before, before heaven and just receive this. I have, say it, I have God's anointing on the inside of me. I am anointed. Do you hear what you just said? It's the anointing that keeps you alive when you're going through hell. It is the anointing that keeps you in, in a safe place when the devil's trying to take you out. It is the anointing that causes you to live when the doctors say you will die. It is the anointing that trumps every other physical, natural, worldly force that we contend with. It is the anointing that will take you up. It's the anointing that will lift you up. It's the anointing that will make you stand tall. It's the anointing that does it. And it's God's presence on the inside of you. You know, when I play, I don't try to impress you. You know what I think every time I play the horn? I get to announce God one more time. When you lift up your voice, think, I get to announce God one more time. And every time I announce him, he always comes. He always delivers me. He always sets me on a high place. Don't get hung up on political issues. No. Get hung up on the God issue. It's only God who has the ability to rule above every king, above every president, above every cabinet member, above every Supreme Court justice, they all are appointed once to die. We that have God in us will live forever. I don't know politics much, although I played for five presidents. I didn't know much about the Queen of England. But when I heard my wife tell me, she said I pray every day. Remember, I'm not political. But you know what got me? She said, I cannot wait. I hope I'm here when Jesus comes. But I cannot wait to lay my crown at his feet. That's the most wealthy lady in the world. You know, one other thing I learned is a stern word. Please don't be angry with me because my grace is running out. 
If there's protocol with a king or a president, how much more protocol is there with God? It's an abomination to God, and you can shout me down. I don't care. I've been shouted down before. It's an abomination to God, pastors, when you bring in God's presence and then you do the announcements. It's an abomination to God. If you ever had an audience with the president and you said, excuse me, sir, I forgot to put money in my car meter, you would never again get access. If the Queen of England had protocol and a president or a king has protocol, how much more protocol does God have? I'm going to say it one more time. What does that mean? It means, great verse, God inhabits the praises of Israel or his people. The Amplified says God inhabits the holy place where the praises of Israel are offered. Don't think that worship is the only way to get holy place. When you begin to announce your victory, you have just created the same holy place that God said, take off your shoes. You're standing on holy ground. You've established the dominion. When you sound the sounds, see, see, see. Start it, sir. I love you, Hank. It's an honor to come. So high above, 
Come on, shout, shout, if you're part of the remnant, shout, worship him, worship him. If you love Jesus, worship him. We thank you, Lord, for deliverance, healings, and miracles in Jesus' name. I tell you, when the Lord moves, there's no better feeling. When you feel the Lord placed upon your shoulders and you can't even move, I'm going to tell you there is no greater feeling in the world than when us as the body of Christ can gather together as one unified unit for the Lord. Amen? Shout if you